going to discuss on how to find whether a trigon is an acute, obtuse, or rare trigon. And teach you some way to solve pro some problems involving Pythagorean theorem. So let's start. So today, I will tell you some techniques to classify whether a triangle is acute, obtuse, or right. But first, let me tell you some techniques to know whether a triangle does exist. First, the sum of two sides of the triangle is greater than the remaining side. The second one is the right, right triangle. The hypotenuse of the right triangle is, great, is the longest side of the triangle. And the third one, a triangle have no negative side. Negative sides. So the formula for the right triangle is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, C is the hypotenuse of a right triangle, which means that it is the longest side of a triangle. And the A and B are the remaining sides. So, the square of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is equal to the square of the side A and the side, square of the side B. So, if this is not met, if C squared is greater than a squared plus B squared. We can we can consider that this triangle is obtuse because the square of the hypotenuse is greater than the sum of the square of the a, side A and side B. If the hypotenuse is the square of the hypotenuse is less than the sum of the square of A and B side, so we can we can consider that this is acute. So it's acute. So let's try this. Suppose you are, you have given a triangle which have a sides three, four, and five. So the longest side of the triangle is five. So this is the hypotenuse. Five squared is equal. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is unknown. Five squared is equal to sum of four squared and three squared. So, 5 squared is equal to 25. And 4 squared is 16. While nine, 3 squared is equal to 9. So, 25. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. So, this is equal. So, we can consider that this is a right triangle. Let's try another. Suppose you have given triangle which have side 9, 8, and 7. So, the hypotenuse is 9. So, it is the C. 9 squared is the to the sum of 8 squared and 7 squared. 9 squared is equal to 81. While 8 squared is equal to 64. And 7 squared is equal to 49. So, 81 64 plus 49 is equal to uh, 113 so the square of the hypotenuse is less than the sum of the side A and side B which is squared so this we can consider that this is acute suppose you have given triangle with, which have side 2 Four. The longest side is 4, so this is the C. 4 squared is long to the sum of 2 squared and 3 squared. So 4 squared is equal to 16 and 2 squared is equal to 4 while 3 squared is equal to 9. So 4 squared, I uh, 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. So the square of the hypotenuse is greater than the sum of the side squared plus the another side, side squared. So we can consider that this is obtuse. And that's how you will classify whether the triangle is obtuse, right, or acute. So that's all. In the previous lesson, you've learned that. How to find whether a triangle is an acute, obtuse, or right triangle. Right now, we have to tackle what is a Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, it states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the squares of the two sides. The formula in the Pythagorean theorem is C 
squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Suppose you have a triangle. You are asked to find the hypotenuse of this right triangle. Suppose this is 4 and this is 3. Triangle A, B, and C. Apply this formula. C squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. C squared is equal to 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 20. C squared is equal to 25. Get the square root 6 is equal to square root of 25. C is equal to units. So the value of the hypotenuse of this right angle is 5. The other formula in the Pythagorean theorem is B squared B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. Suppose the hypotenuse of this triangle is 13 and the side, side A is 12. Apply the formula B squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared. B squared is equal to 169 minus 144. B squared is equal to 25. Get the square root. B is equal to square root of 25. B is equal to 5. The value of the from this side is 5. And the other formula in the Pythagorean theorem is a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Suppose the hypotenuse of this triangle is 41 and the side of this triangle is 2. And the missing is a, apply this formula a squared is equal to 41 squared minus 9 squared. a squared is equal to 41 squared is equal to 1681 minus 9 squared. Is equal to a squared is equal to 1600. Get the square root, a squared is equal to, I'm sorry, a, a is equal to square root of 1,600. A is equal to 40 minutes. The value of side A is 40.